Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating for WithSomeSeekers.net This is my logo, because my .net, though it is coming along nicely, is not quite ready. Um, what else do I think? This is my logo, this is the Phoenix Rampant. You will find it on every site that I, wherever I'm working, that Phoenix will be there. Uh, you can reach me here on YouTube. Instagram. I don't know how Twitter works, but I am on Twitter. You can also reach me on Facebook, which has a messenger designed to work to reach out to me on my meta page, my business page. All right, so feel free to reach out. I am I'm always here most of the time. So this is for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for Tuesday. May 23rd, 2024. Three. <laughs> I keep wanting to move us ahead into the next year because I have a feeling next year is going to be a better year than this one. Though, we have to admit, this year is flying by and it won't be long before it is 2024. And so, for fire sign. We've been getting the Queen of Wands a lot. And as an energy, she is a symbol of ending and beginning of cycles. And I think this one, though we're not quite into the new cycle that we've been working out of, we're in that shade between not, not in the past cycle and still not in the new f cycle, which means it feels like we're walking in a mist where we can't see in front of our feet. But you can only s maybe see the one next step. And if you can see even the one next step, count yourself lucky. Because we're, but it doesn't last long. We're almost there. And you have the abilities. This is the uh, Five of Wands. You have the abilities that you, to move into this new energy you have maybe haven't tried them out yet you haven't perfected them you you don't know how to rely on them yet but they are there they're just you have them you know how to do it and uh, again this will go along with the same thing right you have the skills we, we've been through the ringer all of us we have the skills we've learn through the school of hard knocks to uh, to how the how to get our tools how to come back into balance when we're out of balance how to release things when they are when they are out of, when they don't they don't they don't sync with us anymore even things that we've had loved our people we've had we've loved for years they don't sync with us anymore. We we still have them. So right now you feel like you're in the hangman stage, and we are. We're not. We're not in the new energy. We're not in the old energy. We're kind of hanging. But allow yourself to take this as a take it as a break. Because when we move into the new energy, it's usually really fast. And things move really fast. So right now, even though we feel lost and and not uh, not confident about things, just know that when we get to the other side, this little hiatus, this little break, this little time to relax and re rest, is we're going to whoosh. And it might be still that you're still letting go of the old stuff, because sometimes we may have let it go. We don't realize we've let it go, so we keep on letting it go. That, that's a that's a thing that with humans, we set a goal, we reach the goal, we keep on working for towards the goal because we don't realize we've reached the goal. So you've reached the goal. Just try not. Don't worry so much about. Don't worry so much about uh, trying to react. To, to make the goal work go away because or, or attain the goal because yeah you've reached it <laughs> that was a long way of saying you've reached the goal relax a bit so three of pentacles what you're going to get from relaxing the goal is the same thing as I've been telling you 
we're heading for for a long time. People will hear you. People will identify with you. That's interesting. They will identify with you. So for years, we, the light workers, we've been learning and learning and learning because that's what light workers do. And we, we haven't put ourselves out there to be the teachers, but yeah, maybe it's time to uh, to be the teachers. You see this three of pentacles? She's on the stage. Maybe it's time for you to step up and be on the stage. Now if that frightens you too much, take your time. There's no rush. Be the hermit. And I'm not talking about the hermit that stays in the cave for 13 years become the rainbow body. I'm talking about the hermit who now walks the, gr walks the earth to be the way shower, to be authentic, to be, be who you are. And until you are willing to step up and be more than just a way shower, but a, a, an actual teacher, be who you are, be authentically you, you'll find that you're very good at it, the teaching, because as you're authentic, and you allow yourself to be authentic, you actually start to teach without th realizing it. And you're going to be, are, are very good at it. So allow this to be part of who you are. Allow the balance to be there. This is the Two of Cups, the yin and the yang. The balance. Everything needs to be in balance. Because if there's not balance, then you're out of balance, and that means you're not grounded again grounding while you're doing this and this is an old theme of mine I harp about it a lot allow yourself to be in abundance we are allowed to be in physical abundance I promise you being a light worker means we have the right to have that which we deserve which we need and which is a little bit more than what we need because we don't have to live through the basic elements we can have more all right, so namaste, namasco, I love you, and you I do love, bye.